car carrying the scars of an early race clash, but it shouldn't really be affecting him too much. Hummler goes to the inside, but uh, not close enough. Just a, really, a bit of a distraction. Oh, Borkovic is much, much closer than he's been before. This is a chance. What's happened to Grashov? Borkovic normally is left behind through that first chicane. Oh, they are so close. This is the last lap. Borkovic has only really got one more proper chance to get himself onto the top step of the podium and to deny Grashov and West Coast Racing their fourth victory of the season. But yeah, he's fallen back, so he didn't get the traction out of the Nockstein. And actually, James Nash is really fancying a chance here. Down the back straight, side by side. There is an overlap. Nash on the outside line, though. For, oh, contact between the two of them. Whoa, that was scary. And Dusan Borkovic has the inside line. But no, he runs wide. He's off onto the gravel, into the barrier. Big hit for Dusan Borkovic. I wonder if he got a puncher from that contact. Nash moves up into second. Homola into third. Oh, Borkovic is going to be furious. Through the last two turns then, I'm not sure James Nash's car is quite as happy as it was from that big contact, but it's going to be Mikhail Grashov who wins once again the TCI International Series. Two wins out of two races. James Nash in second position puts the windscreen wipers on to celebrate. And Here is the contact between the two of them. It was left front contact on James's rear quarter and Borkovic then just with no steering because he has a puncture. Can't get the car slowed down. Bang into the wall. 